What's up with it y'all, Swipe back again. I'm here to bring y'all a brand new video. In today's episode, we're going to do another deep web browsing uh, video. And this time we're gonna be looking at where you could buy iPhones and credit cards and stuff on the deep web. Now we all know where this stuff came from. And I I have seen you guys' comments talking about some uh, do more drug do more drug sites and stuff. And I get, and yeah, yeah, that's coming, but like, dang, y'all wanna get back to that already? All this stuff on the deep web, and y'all just wanna look at drug sites and stuff. But don't, don't worry, I'm gonna I'm get y'all right. I'm gonna get y'all right. But anyway, let's not waste no time. Let's get right off into it. Um, they got us off here looking at some iPhone 13s. And as you could tell, an iPhone 13 for $250 sounds too good to be true. And most of the time when something sounds too good to be true, nine times out of 10, it is. And if you're not getting this, cause look, 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 everything I show, don't get on here thinking that whatever I show y'all on here, oh, it's just legit and you can go in here and buy a phone. No, you go in here and buy a phone, bro. You probably never gonna get the damn phone. And if you do get the damn phone, it's probably gonna be stolen. Which kind of makes me wonder is, cause you know, when you steal an iPhone, that motherfucker activation locks and shit. So when you get the phone, since it's stolen, is it gonna be activation locked and they just licked you that way? So I'm wondering if when you get the phone, is it gonna be activation locked and they licked you that way? Or is they really, cause I, I, I kinda know about another way where you could get some iPhones like this and sell them for this cheap, but you would have to be in like the warehouse. Like say a warehouse worker say runs off with some phones and they do it that way. I mean, they might be doing it that way because then you could get it and it's like it's brand new and that's probably why it's so cheap but here's the deal you're not getting no we all know you're not getting no legit ass iphone off of here for no motherfucking the iphone 13 mini for 250 hell no nah, bro I, I don't know what the i don't know what the legit price of an iphone 13 is i'm gonna show it uh on the screen but um I know it's not that motherfucking much. You could, man, <laughs> as expensive as the damn iPhones is, 250 what you would be paying a month if your ass went through Verizon, but shit, if you just got $250 that you don't mind losing, you really think you're gonna get a phone, and you just need it that bad, go ahead and get you the iPhone 13 mini right here. And uh, that's the 128 gig version for uh, $249. Then they got the uh, the 256 gigabyte version for 300. So yeah, if you feel like, if you feel like you can get it, man, then go ahead. And with that being said, um, if, if you go to the normal iPhone 13, it gets a little more expensive, the 512 gigabyte version for $450. That's not bad either for a damn iPhone, fam. You still, you still doing good here. And uh, let me see what happens if I was to click on one of these. And okay, so. Okay, so these are people that uh, did the reviews. And it says buyer, <laughs> look at this, buyer protection. Full refund if you don't receive your order. Full or partial refund if item is not as described. What they mean by item is not as described? Like, I know what they mean by it. I know what they mean by it, but what is they talking about? Like, you order the iPhone 13 and they give you iPhone 6 or some shit? You get a little Samsung motherfucking mini or some shit, the little flip phone, and they only gonna give you a partial refund? Motherfucking give me back all my money if y'all ain't send me what I pay for. But uh, if you scroll down here and look, you can see uh, D Raider 2121 right here. He posted, I mean, he bought, he uh, purchased some uh, AirPods and genuine parts at a cheaper price, says this guy. So these guys are purchasing AirPods. It looked like, so hold on, let's see what the AirPods talking about. Oh, this opened up a whole nother link. Okay, so. Uh, airpods for uh, two hundred dollars what it says 199 bro that's the same fucking price <laughs> that's the same motherfucking price they give you usb-c cable at least hey i if you buy airpods dude does uh this stuff come with it because i know apple won't don't be liking to give niggas shit i know when you buy the iphone they don't give your ass shit but the damn phone man but can y'all believe that bullshit though? When you buy a motherfucking phone, they're not giving you the charger for it. You gotta buy the chart, man. Apple on the bowl for that. Apple on the bowl for that. But anyway, you can get some motherfucking AirPods here for uh, $200. I guess that's straight. It's all sold by the same dude. But uh, and now back to this buyer protection bullshit. Back to this buyer protection bullshit. From who? Like, who is protecting you? Like, motherfucker, like, is it the same person that's selling this shit saying that you're getting buyer protection? Because that don't mean shit. That don't mean shit. But, uh, and this all says the same shit. Like, what is it? Some more pages of it. Good pods, worth it. 
Oh, this was a third generation that Buddy bought. And uh, you can get some third generation AirPods for $100. So, I mean, if that's what you're trying to get, then go ahead and get it. But anyway, moving on. Now let's look at their, uh, the motherfucking counterfeit money that they say they got. It says it's loading. And uh, that's another motherfucking thing I don't like about these deep websites. They take ages to load. Well, as a site on the motherfucking clear web will just load instantly. This, these deep websites take ages. But uh, anyway, we got some, uh, you can get $1,000 in cash money for only $65. Them bills look fake as hell. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me see. Let me see what it loads. Hold on. And is, is it only a half image? Cause look, it ain't even loading up all the way. Let me try. But anyway, that shit looked fake as hell <laughs> for what the fuck I saw. But anyway, um, for $65, you can get a thousand dollars worth of uh, cash money. What was it? What is it like 10s, 20s? Sell, the seller, this seller is normal, works well. How is he normal? It says this seller is, you're a great salesman. How How is he a great salesman? He ain't tried to sell me, what? It works well. I mean, how does the how does the counterfeit money work well? I mean, it's either, it's either counterfeit or it's not. It is a good product, such a long time searching. Just prior to this, there was poor quality. Man, I feel like this shit is scam. Like, off rip, I feel like this shit is scam. Oh, and it is loading. My shit just being slow. My bad. Look, it is loading. Hold oh, on. Then why ain't it load over here then? All right, it's whatever. But, uh, them motherfuckers look fake as hell. Look at how they print it. They don't even... Motherfucker. <laughs> you better not try that shit with nobody. That shit look fake as a motherfucker. And I could tell that it's fake. If I could look at this shit and tell it's fake, bro, you better not walk in no bank or nothing with that shit and try it. Man, I'm sure everybody... I'm sure everybody knows somebody that knows. I'm sure everybody knows somebody or knows somebody that knows somebody who can get some counterfeit bills. Like, it's easy shit, man. But, uh, almost like, but, uh, okay, let's go back. But it doesn't, I don't see where it says, like, if they're giving you 20s, 50s, uh, or what. Okay, look, because, like, this one, I guess this one right here is 50s, and they'll give you, hold on, let's check it out. Well, they were showing 50s on the thing, so I'm guessing they sending you 50s. And um, normally it would be for $6,000 worth of motherfucking 50s. Normally it's 700, but they'll give it to you for 380. Sold by the Reserve Bank. <laughs> All right, if y'all say so. And um, anyway, moving on to the next one. I mean. Anyway, mo anyway, moving on to the next one. And it also looks like you can get some uh, foreign money too here. So y'all could check that out if need be. But anyway, uh, let's check out what the documents is talking about. Damn, you could buy you a motherfucking COVID vaccine uh, vaccination record. Man, you could say that you got the vaccine when you really don't. Like how I did. Now this one, I don't know how this shit works. Like what is it? Just the documents and like they'll put you on it. Let me see. Like does it give like a. Okay, so look. Uh. Choose COVID certificate. U.S. digital COVID. They got it for all these different countries. It's a passport? Okay, hold on. Here's the description. Here's the description. What is the purpose of this certificate? To prevent falsification, the EU digital COVID certificate includes a QR code with a digital signature. The QR code is scanned and the signature is validated when the certificate is reviewed. Each issuing entity um, has its own digital signature key in each country. All of this information is kept in a secure database. So what, they say that they, they supposed to be in the database or something? All right, I'm gonna keep reading. Uh, the, Euro the European Commission has created a gateway that allows all certified signatures in the EU to be validated. This certificate holder's personal information does not pass through the gateway because it is not required to authenticate the digital signature. Our healthcare partners will enter information about your vaccination into the database. How do they do that though? What And what healthcare partners do y'all got? I mean, <laughs> what? I mean, it sounds good, but come on now. I mean, it sounds good, but come on now. Man. I mean, if you don't want to get the vaccine, I don't blame you. I ain't got that bullshit either. But. 
if you need to falsify your uh, vaccination records, then here you go. And we make changes to the database. We'll send you an email. It normally takes 24 hours. So these motherfuckers said they getting in the EU database. And they motherfucking... I call it cap. That's cap. That one's big cap. And they also say they got driver's licenses here and IDs. So... If you're willing to spend a hundred dollars on a on a driver's license, now I guess if you're a kid or something and you need to buy you some Rillos, like you're trying to buy some cigarettes or a vape or something, I guess you could go on here and buy you one of them uh, fake driver's licenses, and uh, and then you could just use one of them. And if these are if these are the good uh if these are the fake the good fake driver's license, then they'll have it somewhere when you scan it it'll still because you know sometimes when you go in like to the tobacco store or something they'll scan your ID. Well, you, if you get a really good one, they can have it somewhere where you scan it it'll still work. But I don't know if, but I don't know if uh, these are like that though. And it says we make genuine counterfeit uh, licenses for all countries. Please send your name, date of. <laughs> they might as well just ask for your social security number. Hell, I mean, yeah, of course they need that for your damn license though. But, but yeah, after placing your order, you could get you a damn, a damn driver's license. But uh, the big question though that would make these worth it, if this site is legit, the big question that would make these worth it is, if you scan it, what will it do? Like, are these just, are they just visual, like you show to somebody and oh you straight? Or if you scan it, what's gonna happen? Because if you scan it and it's not going, and it's gonna show that it's, it's not gonna work, then these things are pointless. Because at that point, you could just, you could take a printer and just print you off a fake ID that looks good. You could, yeah, you could take a printer and just print you off a fake ID that looks good. But if these do got the scans, then yeah, I guess they is worth a hundred dollars. But on to the next thing. Uh, now let's see what they got as far as gift cards go. I see they got a, a Google Play card, um, five hundred, a five hundred dollar Google Play card for thirty five dollars. And uh, something else I like about I like about this site compared to the other ones is that they got the motherfucking money in U.S. Uh, currency. And uh, while the other ones they have it in Bitcoin and shit, and you know I gotta punch it in the Bitcoin uh, converter to see what it is. While it's on here, we just know what it is. So I mean, yeah, that's straight. I do like that about this site, and I also like how straightforward this site is, fam. Like everything just here, everything just here. Just go ahead, buy what you need, and get the fuck. Out. I like that shit. But yeah, if you need you some gift cards, they got an eBay gift card right here for five hundred dollars, and they got a motherfucking uh, fifteen hundred dollar Steam card. For motherfucker, a hundred and fifty dollars. They got all kind of shit. Pretty much everything you would need. iTunes gift card. Let's see what's on the next page. And um, so yeah, just if you ever need an iTunes or a Steam gift card or just some shit like that, then here you go. But fifteen hundred dollars, and if you can get an eBay gift card for five hundred dollars for thirty five dollars, then can't you just buy a fucking Steam? You would probably do better. Just all right, never mind. But. Anyway, on the money transfers, let's see what the money transfers is talking about. So you can get a Western Union $500 money transfer. That's bullshit, bro. Bro, that's bullshit. No, you can't. I'm telling. I'm telling. I'm telling you right now. No, no, you can't. Talking about a $500 West for $50, man. They bogus as hell. Man, y'all believe this shit if y'all want to. They got Skrill right here, $5,000 for 300. And then uh, now let's see what they cards is talking about. If you want to buy a, a credit card or some shit, a motherfucking MasterCard, you can get that shit for motherfucking $75, $3,000. So what, it's like, three, I guess it's a debit card and $3,000 on the motherfucking card for $75. If that's the case, bro, why would you even go over there and fuck with the gift cards when you could come here and get a legit one? That kind of defeats the whole damn purpose. And damn, is my nail? No, my nails are straight. But anyway, that kind of defeats the whole damn purpose of this shit. So yeah, uh, I guess you could get five of them that each got two, 2.7 bands on it. And these have, these are sold by a different seller. Okay, these have different sellers on them, all the other ones that didn't. And um, so yeah, I guess this is uh, the Black Mark site. And uh, so if y'all feel like, so if y'all need any kind of motherfucking credit cards, money transfers, gift cards or you want to buy a motherfucking iphone off of there for real cheap and you feel like getting scammed go ahead and hit up the motherfucking black mark but hey what do i know maybe it's not a fucking scam what they what, what, what was the iphone hold on what was the iphone an iphone 13 mini for 250 dollars hey uh if it weren't for shame i buy that motherfucker. i like i buy it off here just to see if it motherfucking just to see if i get it 
Yeah, I feel funny, I'll buy that shit and a motherfucking clown pop up at my damn door. Blow that motherfucking head off. But shit, anyway, that's all uh, I guess that this site has to offer. If y'all want to check it out, then go ahead. But that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If y'all did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you bros later. I'm out. Peace, peace.